Hey guys, what is up? My name is Ivan Goldbit. Are you thinking of customizing your weaponized vehicles? If yes, this video is going to help you out to customize your weaponized vehicles. So to start off, you need, well, you need your cell phone, but you need this big lug back here to customize your big vehicles or your weaponized vehicles. If you don't have Bay 2, and if you have, if you don't have Bay 2 as a weapon and vehicle workshop, you are not going to be able to customize your new vehicles because right now, as you can see, here's my customizations. I have the command center for Bay 1 and Bay 2 is my weapon workshop. That's how I was able to customize all the new weapons and get all of them. But and in, in Bay 3, I have my personal vehicle storage. So that's what I have right there so I can store personal vehicles. But I can't customize my vehicles. So if you want to customize the weaponized vehicles, you need to buy this one, Weapon and Vehicle Workshop, if you don't have it already. If you do, all you got to do is drive your uh, your weaponized vehicles into the back of the semi. Here we go. This says this is a double sized bay. If you select this, you will lose your existing bay three. So it takes two bays. So let's buy it so I can show you guys. And we're gonna customize the APC. So here we go. Wow. Okay, guys. <laughs> Maybe I should have done this the first time. It's it's a million to have this option. Let's buy it. There we go. Renovation done. Hopefully I am never going to do this ever again. I'm never going to renovate it because that was expensive to renovate it. Okay. So now let's walk in here and let me show you guys. It should be renovated. Let's see if it actually did everything fast. It should have. So let's walk in there and let's see. All right. So this is a little bit different. It's kind of cool. So before I could store my vehicles here, I never actually showed you guys. I've act I should have showed you guys before, but I even had my insurgent and the personal vehicle storage so you can store an insurgent that thing was a big vehicle and it fit back here so that's really cool it's, it's actually a really big space now and oh look at that so this just got smaller you really didn't need a big area to customize your weapons here to be honest it's pretty good okay and this is my command center all right so yeah the weapon the weapon area the weapon customization area just got a little little bit smaller you have tires up here now that's cool all right so now what i'm actually doing is just taking out the moc mobile operation center outside so i can fit a vehicle on the back of it all right guys well i got my moc outside now the trailer and i got my apc right here this is the only vehicle that i've bought that has weapons so this is the only one i'm going to be able to check but it's actually one of the best ones so let's go back and let's see what kind of customizations we can do into it okay here we go let's see if we can drive in with the apc we should be able to customize this let's uh this thing's fast at accelerating there we go go inside okay and let us inside there we go guys this is how it looks like like i said this is my apc really awesome here's the bay so you need this bay in order to upgrade your vehicles if you don't have this bay you can't upgrade the vehicles and Los Santos customs or anywhere else so let's buy you know what I really don't know if we need the full armor this is a tank but I'm just gonna do it for the video but I really don't think you need it let's see race brakes uh, it went a little bit up all right let's see performance engine yeah it went up that's good horn we gotta take that truck horn um, let's go back. Lights. Xenon lights for sure. Livery. Oh, we can buy a livery for this already. Sick. So you didn't have to do the research center inside the bunker to have the liveries for this thing in here. That's real awesome. There's a bunch of liveries. And good thing the price... Oh, but see, some of them are locked. So I'm pretty sure... What does it say? This livery can be unlocked for purchase via research in the bunker property. Okay, so a bunch of them are still locked. Like half of them are locked. Okay, I really don't know if I want to take any of these camos because I want to see the, the locked ones. But for the sakes of the video, so the tank doesn't look all plain, the APC doesn't look that plain, we're going to add one. Let's see. I think I like this one. Just uh, just this regular camo right here. Alright, so this is the camo we're going to take for it. Might not be the best, but it's the one that I like. So there we go. Just Okay, proximity mines we still can't get this this weapon can be unlocked for purchase via research in the bunker property so there's still a bunch of stuff I need to unlock primary color 
I can paint it gold. I can paint it gold, guys. <laughs> I think I might paint it gold. Let me switch the other colors real fast to see how drastically it switches. Quite, quite drastic, actually, now that I see it. There we go. But it is going to be gold. I'm going to paint it gold. There we go. Primary color. How much for the APC? Wow. I think I bought it for... Or, hey, but that's actually pretty good now. I actually didn't think we were going to be able to sell these special vehicles. Uh, I actually never tried selling the other vehicles. Like from... Um, what is it called? Import and export. I never tried selling all those cars like the Runer 2000 or the Rocket Voltic. But maybe you could sell those two if you can sell with these. But now it is confirmed you can sell your weaponized vehicles in your garage where you customize your vehicles. So basically half price what you bought them for. That's what they give you. Alright, transmission. It's a pretty good buy. It doesn't go up too much. Oh, we even have turbo. Oh, this thing's going to be much faster than... This thing was slow. The APC was slow. We can switch... What was this? Weapons. We can switch the weapons, alright. But as you can see, they're still locked. So we're not going to be able to get that right now. Wheels. Oh, no way. Are we going to be able to put... Yes, we can, guys. Look at this. You guys might think this is overdone. It looks hideous, which I I understand, but that's a lot of chrome and a lot of carbon. That's a lot of carbon. <laughs> i never seen carbon wheels that big in a vehicle. They look pretty awesome. Let's see if this looks nice, too. I've never seen that much detail on these wheels right here. I'm going to go through the wheels so you guys don't have to look at me getting wheels. And check this out. The regular wheel... It's a, it's a full covered wheel. You can't really see the brakes or the disc. And apparently it has performance disc and performance brakes. So that's kind of cool that you can actually see that. These are my best off-road wheels. The ones I like the best right here. I might end up taking those. Alright guys, so, so just for the sake of the video, I'm going to switch wheels. I'm going to put these right here. These are my best wheels, the ones that I like. All right, you can even put a tire design on the wheels. That is, that is pretty sick. We already had bulletproof tires. We can even add a smoke color. I mean, I guess we could. We could. Uh, let's go with red. Might as well, right? Okay, so there we go. We can even tint the windows. What windows, if any? Oh, those. Okay, there we go. We can tint them, or we can leave them plain. To be honest, I really don't care about the windows so we're gonna leave that plain but there we go so that's all the customization you can do which is quite a bit so if you want to put different weapons on your vehicle you need to have this bay right here in order to customize your vehicle so here's my customized APC pretty cool you could switch the primary colors you guys saw and the wheels and all your weapons proximity mines and here we go another weapon that was it so for the APC you only have two weapons proximity mine and this last weapon we have right here I wonder if you're able to unlock more later on because I only have one that's locked maybe I can unlock more they're just hidden but yeah guys that's it that's all we can do in here uh, let's see exit the mobile operation center or exit vehicle oh well, let's exit the vehicle let's see what happens okay so I exited the vehicle all right so that's pretty cool after you customize it you can leave your vehicle so you can get out and look at it in more detail to see if you actually like it or not. That's pretty awesome. Alright. You can't walk in front of this apparently. It's too big. Alright. But there we go. There's my customized APC. All gold out with a camo. Off-road tires to make it look more aggressive. But yeah, that's nice. So let's go back in there. And let's... uh. Let's drive it out, even though we couldn't actually customize it yet because I wasn't ready. Can you actually get inside of it again? Okay, it does. It just makes me go to the other side. Sad thing is we couldn't actually add any new weapons because I haven't done the research for it. But guys, if you're planning to do uh, to switch your weapons and you've done the research, so you need to do the research first. But if you have done it, this is what you need in order to switch your weapons or customize your weaponized vehicles. But let's exit. And let's admire the APC outside, which uh, we're not going to be doing too much admiring because as you can see, it's night out. Alright guys, well, another tip I want to give you is if you have your trailer 
stored inside your bunker and you have a weaponized vehicle just like the APC or any of the other weaponized vehicles you can store both of them park your uh, weaponized vehicle inside the bunker if your trailer is in here get inside it and drive it to the trailer this is pretty cool I didn't know we could do this but you can drive your weaponized vehicle let me crash into this little thing can you run over it yes you can okay so you can take your APC or your weaponized vehicle into the back of the trailer but let me drive a little bit since I actually haven't seen this first time seeing this I can't go anywhere else they did it on purpose so you wouldn't be crashing into things over there but yes as you can see you don't have to be doing it from the outside as I first showed you you can do it all from the inside but there we go guys that's my last tip for this video you can have both vehicles stored inside your bunker the trailer with the semi and your weaponized vehicle inside the bunker and then just drive it into the trailer but I already customized it so let's just head out let's see what the options we get so the options we get is exit the mobile operation center exit bunker or exit vehicle so let's just exit the MOC all right guys well as you guys just saw we exited and it took us back to this bay one area where we store cars but if we accelerate we can clearly go out and drive this and I wonder if we want to take it out do we just have to drive to the doors yes we do look at that they fought of everything sweet alright guys well that's the last tip I wanted to give you and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video but the last thing I'm gonna do is show you my gold APC with my gold semi and so I can show you how it looked like after the full customizations we did inside it looks really cool overall now that we have daytime more sunlight we can admire this beast more those wheels are huge imagine adding those carbon wheels I mean some people might not like it just because you know they want to keep that military stance that military figure with a tank but after this I might add the carbon fiber wheels but for now this looks really awesome with the off-road wheels alright guys well this is the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up share the video with a friend and if you guys haven't subscribed consider subscribing there's gonna be more awesome content just like this but as always guys have a good day have a good night Stay golden, and I'll catch you in the next video. Adios.